This is something that was used at Indiana University and we used it at Minnesota. It was in the literature. Very interesting and very, very important measurement. You draw a line from the soft tissue here straight down to this point called subnasally and from here to here like that. 11 degrees and there's a 4 degree standard deviation. So plus or minus 4 degrees you'll find two-thirds of the population within that area. Now that's the key to the whole thing. Most class 2's have a significant recessive lower jaw as measured by this angle. So if you use a headgear you're making it worse because the whole face goes down and back. Now this is out of a magazine, Time Magazine cover in 1974. I was teaching at the University of Minnesota when I saw this. Leadership in America, and you put the facial contour angle on that, and the mandible is forward by four degrees. So a normal face would have it back at 11 degrees, and if you're a leader, you have this massively forward lower jaw, or so the artist would have you believe. My point is then, we are dramatically affected in the way we look at people. If someone has no chin at all, they have no strength or character. On the, show me a military general with a weak chin. Show me an NFL or college football coach with a weak chin. They don't exist. They don't get in those positions with, with a weak chin. It's huge. And yet, orthodontics is in the business of making weak chins.